the future of the 370Z will be a 1,000 horsepower car. There, I said it. Ba, 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 ba. After driving the Beamer and loving automatic so much, I'm actually also automatic swapping this car for the 1,000 horsepower build. I'm just kidding. <laughs> So what are we doing today? All right, so this, Mishimoto fans, Mishimoto radiator for the 350Z. For the 370Z, we have a CSF radiator, but we're gonna get into that later in this video. And like I said, yes, you can get a discount on these parts. Use code DannyZ on the throttle checkout and any other parts that you want from the website. I'll leave the whole website in the description as well as these products, but. This is the first time I've ever had anything Mishimoto and the quality, Ooh, it's nice. So why are you upgrading the radiator on the 350Z and then after the 370Z with a bigger fan? So if you don't already know, uh, this is a VR30 Swap 350Z, so it has a much more stronger motor. These motors come in the new Infiniti's Q50, Q60. And well, having a radiator that's falling apart from 2004 uh, just doesn't cut it. <laughs> so that's why I think uh, this is going to be a great upgrade. The car doesn't overheat, none of that, so that's very good. But since we got the OEM hoses, I figured let's go ahead, put some Mishimoto on there, get all the cooling and everything situated. And then for the 370Z, we did go ahead and get the CSF radiator. Why? Because the 370Z, one of the things I've never really upgraded is definitely the radiator. It's still the stock radiator, the car is boosted. I figured this is the final, well not final, but this is a good little touch just to make sure the cooling is done. We are running an oil cooler, so I figured why not get the best radiator you can get for the car. Fourth truck, this is just too easy. Oh shoot! <laughs> that was pretty awesome. We do have to go ahead and disconnect the, and take out the bumper because these are the hoses that we're exchanging. Uh, this is aftermarket, I had to do it. And this one down here, basically that come out of the heat exchanger up into here into the intercoolers. It's boring work. I don't know if I'm gonna go into too much detail, but just showing you guys what we're up to. Oh, it's, it's a good looking shirt. Reporting Danny from the future, but actually the past. So I will touch more on this uh, towards the end of the video, but I just want to start off by saying a lot has been going on. I just bought a new BMW. That's another build that's going on. The 350Z is right over there. But the baby of the channel, the car I started everything with. What's up with the 370Z? I mean, I haven't really filmed on it at all. The last thing you guys saw, uh, the turbo basically blew. The car's done. Uh, until I rebuild the turbo, but I asked you guys what do you want me to do with the car turbo setup wise like what what, what are we trying to do here? A lot of you guys were telling me I uh, do a top mount turbo do a single mid mount turbo do a twin turbo mid mount turbo Well, I came to a conclusion with this car and I know the plan for this car I know exactly what I want to do with this car You might have seen the title of this video and it's true now There isn't really gonna be a timeline on this when you see the title, you know, it's starting So I recommend you guys hit that subscribe button and you stick around because you never know when it's gonna happen But I want Brittany to be an absolute 1,000 horsepower monster 800 to 1,000 horsepower and I am going to have a twin turbo top mount for this car Yes, you heard right one turbo here another turbo here. I already know who can make it. I already have price breakdown I don't have a price breakdown for a built motor yet or any of that, but the future of the 370Z will be a 1000 horsepower car. There, I said it. Let's continue on with the video. Woo! And you might be like, oh, Danny, why are the old ones bigger than the new ones? Well, trust me. Size isn't everything sometimes, and this is the case. I'm going to put the exact specs on the screen, but this is much, much, much better than the stock plastic 
old fans. And for those of you that are just trying to get better coolings but not buy a whole radiator, you can buy the Mishimoto fans and install them onto a stock radiator, which would improve temperatures by an insane amount. Here we got the old and here we got the new. Look at the difference. This is crazy. Wow. My goodness. That's just insane. And I think I'm going to go ahead and transfer the condenser to the Mishimoto. 2004, 2023. Look at this thing. One word that I have for it. Beautiful. When we hook up the AC, if it doesn't work, I'll get a new one. And if it does work, hallelujah. So here we have the old one, which is over right over there. And here we got the aftermarket one. You can see we got the sensor right here. You can see I had to DIY my sensor. This is actually how it comes OEM. And then here we got the, the split right here that I had to make. And there's the OEM split right here. I mean, mine's not bad. It just doesn't look as great as this one. I also have to see if it does reach certain places because I feel like these hoses are much more shorter than the ones I made. So that might be an issue. So on Throttle's website, there's this really cool thing called VIP. So aside from using code Danny's in the Throttle website to get discounts on all sorts of parts, you can also join the VIP club, which is pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. You get savings. You also get the sweepstakes when they were, whenever they give away cars. And there's a whole community you can talk to for automotive questions. They see out this shirt. Look at this thing. Woo, I'll put this on right now. Oh, yeah. Wow. Those are some nice gloves. Jet tags decals everything all the goodies you can join the club through the website i highly suggest it. they have so many discounts on so many parts and you can save hundreds of dollars and trust me i'm saying it because it saved me hundreds of dollars i'm not just trying to sell you something all right i'm probably gonna go ahead and get a new condenser because it looks pretty bad it makes the mishimoto look like yeah, it's it's just pretty bad all right we're gonna take off the fan Ooh. Oh boy, I hate this car. <laughs> you guys have not seen me in a while. I pretty much plumbed everything and I have no idea why I decided to go with the beautiful OEM hoses because I have an aftermarket heat exchanger and the OEM hoses 60% of them didn't even work with the car. So I literally made my life even harder. I'm gonna show you guys. Look at that beautiful view right there. First of all, I had to cut these little brackets that I had before. I had to re-drill just because it sat way too back and it was hitting the motor. But we got it sitting right. Now these two are good, except down here. Yes, I do have to figure out what I can do with <laughs> all this like excessive wiring, but you can see we got the sensor in here now. It's more secure. I do like the fact that it's more secure. It's like OEM with the adapter for the sensor. So it's not gonna leak. Mine wasn't leaking, but either way, I'm just happy that it's OEM, I guess. This clamp broke on this side, so I had to go ahead and put this one for now, just until we can get the OEM one. It's really, really hard making this look pretty when there's enough space for anything. So you're like cramping, putting hoses through here, using zip ties here and there, but it's functional. That's the most important thing, right? Very functional, works mint. Yes, sir. 
Me and my brother twin like the towers And we won it now, never later No more favors, done with all these traitors Who be haters on the low They just hate to see you grow So I'd rather be alone in my zone Writing poems cause I'm never on the road And I'd rather stay at home man. Life of Okay so the camera died so the time lapse stopped But we basically already took this out like this A bolt, every single bolt Take out the line that goes through here It's honestly pretty simple Now what I think we gotta take out is this metal piece right here that holds the, the headlight i think it's just the one headlight bolt and this should come out i think i am gonna go ahead and have to take off my old cooler though which kind of sucks because it's on there in a way where you shouldn't be able to take it off <laughs> i'm bolting something i'm pretty sure this is the gas from the ac which you cannot breathe in so we're gonna undo it and run away So I do understand that's pretty legal. I just want to say, a professional came over and hit that himself. I definitely did not let it out into the atmosphere. Change, but a bunch of people feel us. Reaching for the top, and now I ain't got no sellers. Pour me up a cup or two so we can stop the bleeding. Roll me up a split or two. Okay, if you're new here and you don't know what this is, well, let's just say that my turbo has completely gone bad, and there's just oil in the intake system right now. Oh my goodness. That's cr I'm literally wow. Okay. Okay, finally that's out. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the CSF. It's kind of mean like that, right? And thankfully we were able to keep in the intercooler. Pretty awesome. So if you're doing it, and you have an intercooler, you probably can leave it in. Okay, so part of the reason why I did want to go CSF for the 370Z is because most boosted cars are running good amount of power. To be honest, not even just that. I just see a lot of 370 guys and Z guys running CSF. And the cool thing about this one is, as you saw. In the 350 we had to go ahead and put on the ac condenser this has its own built-in ac condenser and just like that i am basically part of the most elite group in the world the csf crew so basically there's a random dog in my driveway right now <laughs> what <laughs> Right, this whole AC situation, I gotta show you guys how I was able to get the AC lines off. First time ever doing this, I was able to get the first one off, but let me show how I did that. So you have a very tight little room, but you all see that little green fitting, right? So literally what I did, went to AutoZone and got this AC extractor disconnect set. The size that we used for the bigger hose was a 5 8 So basically what I did with a finger, I put it over the line and then I grabbed this flathead. I pushed it down so it went ahead and gripped the line and then you're going to push it in that way and that's going to activate the springs and then you're going to be able to push the line out. They actually do come with this plastic little piece to remove it but since there's such little room, I just went ahead and got this. They told us, stay quiet, but it close your lips. We never thought we'd get our chance to speak. So we just stay grinding, trying to hold our chips. Another thing I'm going to go ahead and do, since the bumper's already off the car, if you guys don't remember, I used to have fins and lights on the front bumper. They looked very good. I'm going to put those back on. I do like the clean look without the lights, but I do feel like the lights give it more of like a supercar, nice aesthetic look. If you don't know what that looks like, I'll put a picture right here. I'm not going to show you guys just because I've done it so many times. So stay until the end of the video so you can see the full thing because it's going to look sick. Okay, so I want to wait until daytime just so you guys can see how sick this looks. I know I know the aftermarket radiators are for performance, obviously, but you cannot disagree. It is one of the coolest looking mods for your car. Right, but now it's just basically reassembly. Like I showed you, we already did put back the sensor. We got to go ahead and cut up, cap it up here. Another thing, I did have to take this off because it was hitting the radiator or the condenser. I may have messed it up kind of bad. Should I show you guys? I'm going to show you. This is what happens to the best of us. I was installing it, I didn't notice, and let's just say that um, I kind of messed it up very bad. <laughs> and of course, don't be like me, I completely forgot to switch out the little rubber grommets that go from the old radiator onto the new one. It is, no, nothing's moving there. And I did have to go ahead and push down and then twist it. So at least it's unsecured. Parts for the Beamer are starting to arrive, let's go. My hair is a Help her just right, all right, come on. All right, this is. Oh, it's ripping into my shirt. Bye. Bye. Go away. Go away, girl. All right, let me show you guys something. So a big reason that's why I took the fins out as well as the light is because you can see there's two little brackets for the lights to bolt into. On this side, when I had the ridiculous gas station crash, it actually broke the two brackets and this light doesn't really stay in on the highway or anywhere at all. So right now I'm trying to figure out, I got this really nice bracket that fits perfectly. So I would basically put a bolt down and it would stay there. But the thing is you would see the screw go across 
and just stick out which wouldn't look great so the next thing i have in mind check this out i have a little piece of rubber with like sort of an l i'm thinking i could use this plastic welder and weld this little piece of rubber and then it would be like an two plastic l's i'll drill a hole in the middle and bolt up the light i don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna find out in three two one it worked okay so i had to use another plastic because the one i showed you oh actually this is the one i use so it's much more thinner it does move around but i honestly think it's going to be just fine this v6 mustang just keeps going down and up my road that is in there like swimwear <laughs> let's go We just gotta be careful with that. All well, these things are good. You're really just chilling out here, huh? Okay, here you go. All right, so, ow. So we basically have to build the motor, so I gotta figure out if I wanna keep this car running, driving it, buy another motor, build that motor, or if I just wanna sit this car for as long as I need to be sitting and just rebuild this motor that came out of Britney's the original motor, so. I kind of want that to be the thing I, I go with. Uh, that's another reason why I bought a BMW. The BMW is supposed to be my daily, which is currently being modified. <laughs> also, I have the 350Z, which we're working on AC and power steering on this car, just to make it that much more mint. be very very cool if you guys have a company that you would love to see build britney or help me you know build the car send them a message spam them be like yo build danny's 370z or whatever help him get to 800 to 1000 horsepower that would be pretty cool that'll involve you guys and i don't think i've ever done that before and i want to see what happens if we try that but obviously i have to 